babies. It's that time again. Oh yeah. to see you again oh yeah baby we're feeling good this morning we got some kind of kisses and hugs going on with Jesus and so I'm all delighted can't wait to see what he wants to say oh yeah baby and last night Just took a little time away from my own usual routines and I just stopped what I was doing and just put my attention on the Lord asking for his help feeling a little sleepy and I was like Lord I do not want to fall asleep on you right now I want to connect with you and before I fell asleep just gave me the sense of the power of his present reality for lack of a better term And I think what was going on there is he was just reminding me that I don't need to search for anything. I don't need to ask for anything. What I'm looking for has already been given. I just need to align with him. Oh yeah, baby. And he's given me messages like that several times in the past and I've taught on them here. And it's similar to the idea of, you know, people get caught up in like ideas of ministry and like, you know, they see, they see people, other people like bumbling through uh, routines, rituals, teachings, all kinds of machinations none of which seem to really resonate in your spirit and you think to yourself man I could do better than that I mean why doesn't God give me a, a ministry I can do better than this and then you sort of get into the mindset of like okay what do I need to do so that God um, opens these doors for me so I can have a ministry like this on YouTube or wherever and that's it. That's just the wrong approach. And I think that's the kind of thing God was reminding me of, is that we are with him. We are seated with him. We are empowered. We are his beloved. We have all we need. So there is no searching. There is no longing. There is no asking. There is simply submitting and releasing. Oh yeah, baby. So we submit ourselves to this truth, that being his presence in us. And we release it into the air so to speak or we release it for somebody else's benefit 
And essentially what we're doing is we're giving evidence to the fact that he's already answered our prayer, that we are already actively positioned in ministry. <laughs> yeah, baby. <clears throat> so it's that simple mindset that he can build on. So it's not a matter of having any questions answered because they've all been answered. And any questions we think are pertinent or essential, evidently God doesn't. Therefore, again, another example of submitting and aligning with him, if he's not answering the question, it cannot be a priority for you to know. But what we do know is that we are forever betrothed to him. We are forever in a place of oneness with him. And so as long as we're actively submitted to that truth, which I will call knowledge, then he can build on that. Because that's what we know. So we build on what we know. And then we pay attention to what those additions are. To our current knowledge. And when we, when we see what it is that he's adding. Then we're thankful. And we immediately find places, mindsets, action, where those new additions are being released. Because they're not just for you in your prayer closet. They're for the entire body of Christ and it's up to us to just keep it moving, baby. Keep it moving, oh yeah. And then you'll see some people are moving at a at a, a a more rapid rate than others, and you'll see some people are kind of stuck. Uh, you'll see some people are are going backwards. But but because you have God's mind, you'll you'll be able to see why in each of those cases, those diversities of rate of movement are occurring. Oh yeah, baby. So you want to stay in the fast lane. You want to stay moving. You don't want to run anyone over. You always want to be thinking about the other person before yourself. And you want to be releasing into the air, meaning into where it's visible the evidence of not only the resurrection of Jesus, but your own resurrection with him. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> and that's why you, you we have the mind when we read the Bible and we go, that doesn't sound like my resurrected Lord. And so you just move on. And it might be some time that God will give you insight into whatever it was that you weren't able to connect with because it could be just something that's beyond your capacity. But more often than not, I find those things that we don't resonate with are just not essential pieces of information for our current building. So we just let the spirit have his way in us, through us, by the blood, and the power and authority of Jesus. Oh yeah, baby. And guess what? There's nothing more intimate than being engaged by the very power and authority of the blood.
blood of Jesus. Oh, 